So I have a question for all you free my nigga advocators every time your people get arrested. And I'm not talking to the people who just do it just to do it, but I'm talking to the people who actually want freedom for this person that's locked up. And my question is just, why? Yeah, just why? It's a simple question and I'll probably have a response along the lines of, well, that's my nigga. Okay, so just because that's your nigga, it's okay for them to break the law and not suffer the consequences for their actions. Oh, okay, I see now. You're one of the reasons right now one of your niggas is locked up. Especially if you participated or knew anything about it and you did nothing to intervene. But that's your nigga though. I mean, I really can't see how. Because if you really cared about that person in the first place, you'd be trying to persuade them to do otherwise than commit crime. And not stimulate and instigate their ignorance. Especially the people who are always in jail or some shit. But you constantly put this idea in their head that somehow it isn't their fault that they broke the law. Or it isn't that bad that they broke the law. And certainly... Certainly not enough for them to go to jail and do time for breaking the law. If you really care about someone and you love them, you should want them to sit in jail and take responsibility for their actions. And you would be trying to actually make them reconsider their life. Not condoning their actions to make them feel like they shouldn't be in there in the first place. Especially advocating free my nigga for motherfuckers who've taken someone else's life or rape or some shit. Anything that causes mental or physical harm to another person. That's some sick shit. And I'm not talking about like self-defense or staying your ground because those are exceptions. But they just went out and killed someone over like an affiliation to a group or an opposing group or drugs or money or any other reason that didn't involve their lives being in direct jeopardy. That they didn't contribute to by putting themselves in that position to begin with. You also have to take in consideration that most crimes take place with a preconception about what the fuck is about to go on and what are the consequences that go with it. Look, all I'm saying is stop giving your loved ones that are behind bars that kind of support and perpetrating this idea that just because there's someone that you know and love that they should get a free pass for whatever crimes they commit. And I mean, really look at what you're advocating to be back out free into the community. Reevaluate and look at things from a fresh perspective. I mean, even the victim's perspective. Because obviously no one takes the victim into consideration when they're talking about free my nigga. That just goes over their fucking head. Everything is all about perspective because if it was a complete stranger doing these crimes, you would not be advocating for this individual or individuals to be released from their goddamn confinement. Now, I, I get that love and loyalty contributes to an irrational thought process. And I'm aware that some people advocate free my nigga just for attention and to put up this false concern and support for this individual who has a high probability of being raped. So you like, I don't want my nigga to get raped, which is understandable. I, I don't want nobody to get raped either. But then I go over to look at what exactly this person did and they got a rap sheet like they just came out of a, a fucking Scarface movie or some shit. I'm gonna go, what? Motherfucker, you deserve to go in there with the nigga. Free my nigga. Free my nigga. Fuck that nigga. Nigga knew exactly what he was doing to get locked up. Shit. I'm all messed up.